In this video, I'm gonna show you how Henry runs the best nickel 335 wide defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in today's video, we're specifically focusing in on Henry and his 3-3-5 wide defense. I'm gonna spend just a brief moment um, talking about this from the perspective of what I see him doing consistently and what you can emulate. This is how he's able to stop trips tied in. It's how he's able to stop spread, bunch, all of those different things. Henry, in my opinion, is one of the best defensive players in the Madden community. Um, he is nicknamed the Glove. His friends call him the Glove after Gary Payton because he is such a good defensive player. And so um, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be sharing with you a recipe that he uses. It's also a recipe that I use. And I've actually broken down this entire defense in my 335 wide defensive guide. So if you want to get my full defensive guide, and basically it's very similar to what Henry does. I do a couple of uh, a little bit of different things as well. But if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook, it is going to be available in the description. I've been running this defense since June of 2020. And I just have to tell you that it is the best defense in the entire game. So if you want to master defense, if you want to learn defense in a new way, I just want to encourage you to pick up that defensive guide. Like I said, it is just 15 bucks. But the play we're going to be focusing on in today's video is the Cover 4 Show 2. Henry came to the club championships with probably the best defense in the entire uh, field. And it was because he basically ran a ton of match coverage. So we're going to audible over to the Cover 4 Show 2 when we come out in the 3 3 5 wide. And then the next following little couple things here is actually very simple. All we're going to do is we are going to play man-to-man -man coverage. Um, so we're going to put both of our um, we're going to put both of our quarter flats. We're actually going to put those into seam flats. The reason why is because if they turn this into a two by two formation via motion, so if they motion a slot receiver across, it is going to play phenomenal match coverage. If they keep it into a three by one as it is right now, a trips formation, whether it be trips left or trips right, it doesn't really matter. Um, if they keep it in a three by one, then that seam flat is going to do a good job of just basically playing a general curl flat. And the reason why that matters is because it's going to be very effective due to the fact that the quarters, the, the four deep quarters and behind it are going to do a great job of coming down on those routes and matching onto it. So how this is going to basically work out for us is we're going to be just simply putting uh, both purples on a seam flat, just like this right here. You see, we just changed them to seam flats. We're going to then take the linebacker that is blitzing and we're going to man him up against the problem. So different formations have different problems. In this example, the problem is the slot receiver, the first slot receiver in the, tri in the trips. In bunch, I believe that the problem receiver is the most outside receiver in the gun bunch. In uh, U-trips, the problem receiver is oftentimes the solo receiver in the U-trips formation because based off their motion, he then turns into the slot receiver. So those are some kind of uh, ways you can defend multiple formations. But then the last step that we're gonna take is we're just gonna put one of our defensive linemen on a bluff blitz. As you can see right here, we've now created a nice little cover four quarters max coverage. And if you watch this, we are literally going to be able to just simply bag um, this entire offense. Now, the number one thing that we just have to kind of be prepared to do as a user defender is we simply just need to be prepared in case they run a, a crossing route. If they run a crossing route, I'm not saying that you're going to have to guard it yourself. What I am saying is if that man coverage does not cover him, and the corner does not there, then go ahead and take it. But as you can see right here, we take everything away. By the time that the crosser is coming open, we have an instant sack. The beauty is that this does such a good job against several things. So I want to show you, um, I want to show you how this would work if they were running some type of little motion, um, little motion flat or whatever. So we're just going to put a little wheel route or a little swing. We've got this kind of set up right here, and we're going to motion triangle cross. This is how this is gonna play out if they go into what I would call a two by two, meaning two wide receivers on one side of the field and two wide receivers on the other side. So I'm gonna put my seam flats out there, I've got my three rec, I've got my man coverage, 
everything is all set up. And I want you just to kind of watch how this defense is going to do and how it's going to just match very, very nicely, um, depending on what they do. As you can see, that seam flat drops, drifts back. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the interception, but hopefully you saw how much in the play he actually was. And I'm gonna just jump into instant replay and talk a little bit about it because this is what is so powerful. A lot of people that run trips formations, whether it be bunch, whether it be U-trips, whether it be trips tied in, it doesn't matter. They almost always will turn them into two by two formations. Very frequently is what you'll see is something like like this and as you can see in this example the crossing route that was the problem in the beginning of the play is no longer the problem as you see I've got a corner sitting right there ready to play it um, in a match coverage principle so that is how Henry runs what I believe to be the best nickel 335 wide defense in the game he's uncovered the the secret of the seam flat against two by two formations. And so if you wanna learn my complete edition of the 335 wide defensive guide, I'm just gonna encourage you to pick that up. It's just 15 bucks. It will literally change your defense for the better. You're gonna start being able to get consistent stops. You're gonna have great pressure and you're gonna have phenomenal run defense. So if you wanna get my nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link in the description and you can get that for just 15 bucks. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. We'll see you guys later.